Hello, I want to talk with you in this short little video about how I look at a grant proposal and what I'm looking for as I first look at it. So here we have a very recent grant proposal application due date May 5th, 2015, so that's pretty recent. Uh, but of course it's past time for right now. Here's a table of contents tells you, and these are clickable links, so it tells you about the summary, the description, uh, who's eligible, and all of the information that you need. Section 5 is the application review information, so this tells you exactly the kind of information that the reviewers are looking for. And when you know what the reviewers are looking for, then you can easily try to be a reviewer yourself as you look at your drafts. So that's going to be a very important uh, section to focus on uh, later after you've written a draft. Or actually use it as you're writing the draft. It'll help you tremendously. And here's the executive summary. Now one of the most important things about this summary is it tells you who is eligible. And what's really important is that most of the states of the country are not eligible for this uh, grant, RFP. So you only are eligible if you're in Florida, Indiana, North Dakota, Texas, Virginia, Guam, and these other places. So if you're not in those states, this would be the time to stop looking. The other thing it tells you here is the purpose of the program is to support projects that educate youth you know, between the ages of 10 and 19 and all of this tells you exactly what they're looking for. Uh, it's abstinence and contraception for the prevention of pregnancy, sexually transmitted infections, and HIV AIDS. And it tells you what the funds can be used for, the design, implementation, and sustainability of teen pregnancy prevention and adulthood preparation programs that replicate evidence-based effective programs or substantially incorporate elements of effective programs. And you have to incorporate at least three of six adulthood preparation subjects. So just even on this first page, we've learned a lot. Who's eligible, who's not? We've learned what they're looking for. And if your organization, for example, doesn't want to deal with abstinence education, again, you can just pass this one right on by. So this is uh, just a quick little video about how I begin looking at a new RFP in terms of what's important uh, in deciding whether to even read the rest of the RFP. So hope this is helpful as we begin our journey.